Speaking of Perikatan National, Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin, your uh, chairperson, said that PN could possibly win 80% of votes in the PRN and he was citing a study. Um, are you familiar with this study and what kind of details can we have? What, what led to Wow, you want me to share about the studies? Well, I mean, it's a bold claim, so 80%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Itu, itu yang kita dapati. But, tetapi dalam masa yang sama secara fizikal pun sebagai contoh, saya nak quote our open house just recently in Shalam. Me, myself, I got to walk for almost one and a half kilometers to get into the hall because of the traffic jam. Begitu ramai manusia yang datang memberi sokongan ke majlis tersebut. I'm pretty sure they are not there for the food. Uh, kerana nak bergatuh, nak ambil makanan pun will take them half an hour or so nak ambil minuman pun susah, nak pergi bilik air pun susah, terlalu ramai orang so I truly believe they just come for to show their support dan yang datang pula bukan di kalangan ahli-ahli parti tetapi di kalangan rakyat biasa daripada pelbagai kaum uh, dan dalam masa yang sama kita juga telah membuat beberapa kajian uh, dan kajian-kajian ini menunjukkan bahawa sokongan especially daripada orang Melayu kepada beralih kepada PN ini meningkat secara begitu mendadak sejak uh, PRU yang ke-15 tentunya kerana uh, Melayu yang begitu yakin tentang uh, ketetapan yang telah dibuat oleh Perhimpunan Agung AMNO, oleh Presiden AMNO bahawa no Anwar no DAP no bersatu mereka benar-benar yakin dengan perkara itu tetapi apabila selepas uh, usai pilihan raya umum yang ke-15 suddenly they are together so menyebabkan the Malay has changed their minds and now they are supporting PN so from the studies memang ada banyak menunjukkan yang uh, peratusan yang orang Melayu yang Uh, menyokong PN sekarang ni telah meningkat hingga 80%. Uh, ya, 80%, 80% tu dari uh, yang uh, undi orang Melayu 80% tu adakah uh, di setiap negeri atau secara keseluruhan ataupun ada negeri-negeri tertentu yang nampak peningkatan? We did study, kami lakukan study sini di semua ke-6 negeri yang yang akan diadakan pilihan raya. But I mean, you obviously didn't talk to everybody in the state, right? What is the methodology behind these studies? How is it? If I'm not mistaken, the first studies was about 3,000 respondents, which is big enough. In each state? Each. Uh, Dr. Sri, earlier you mentioned that you wanted, when we asked you about whether you would contest in PRN, you said, no, you want to berkhidmat for your own state. Um, Is this going to remain at the state level or do you want to... Oh, okay, sorry lah. Bukan lah. Itu uh, parliament level lah kalau boleh. You see, I can decide. I was pengurusi PN Negeri Perak. I can decide to run as I don't last election. Uh, tapi saya fikir uh, saya dah ada peluang tu last term. Uh, I dah pernah mengetuai kerajaan negeri pun. Dah perlu ada pengalaman dijatuhkan pun. So enough lah Kita kena bagi peluang pada orang lain They have uh, Mungkin ramai orang lain ada idea baru dan sebagainya And then we need to support that And dalam PN I truly believe kita ada cukup pemimpin I have my I was hoping to uh, Dapat jadikan Datuk Zainul Fazi uh, Sebagai The next uh, Leader in Negeri Perak uh, we, we Short of four seats So Datuk Sarani Amno BN bergabung dengan PH they form the government Datuk Sarani continue but, but okay kita di Perak as you can see tak banyak sangat politik lah politik gurau-gurau ada politik kacau-kacau in Perak we don't disturb the state government that them move kalau dia tak main peranan yang baik kita akan jadi pemimpin pembangkang yang berwibawa yang baik kita akan tegur kerajaan dengan cara baik but I want I want to I want to stay in Tambun uh, even though I dulu letak never lost in Tambun but I lost lah so well Dr. Mahdi pun pernah kalah never, never lose twice uh, well, uh, the next uh, my next campaign will be never lost twice in Tambun never lost twice in Tambun 
But I don't think Anwar is going to be there. So the ne whoever is going to run uh, against me in Tambun in next general election, be careful. <laughs> why? Why do you think he won't contest in Tambun? Again? He's going to lose against Peja. What are you talking about? He can only be giant killer once. <laughs> Um, looking back post GE15, do you think Tan Sri Muhyiddin should have at least consulted PN leadership before throwing away, rejecting? Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, let's get Lost focus, really. Uh, a few days after polling day, whole country. We've got one one five, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, the young Diputon Agong, he had uh, requested to form a unity government. Ooh, dangerous territory. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> And Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin did not agree. He rejected the decree and left the Istana much earlier than Anwar did. Looking back, do you think he should have consulted PN leadership first before making such a decision? I think I want to reserve my comment on that one because I have the answer but I, I think I should reserve my comments. <laughs>